okay, so let's put some Wi-Fi on this uh, newish Portenta. Um, I've got a blank Arduino set up. I've already done the installation. Um, I have my GitHub site up there. I have my GitHub site loaded right here. And I'd like to go down to the Wi-Fi one. Wi-Fi is number five, my 05. And always go to raw when you grab these things. It just makes it so it's the only thing on the page. It's easier to grab everything. Miss that last um, quote and makes it really confusing. I've already saved this because it's actually quite slow to save Arduinos to start with. And I just want to look through this. There's one thing kind of important for you guys to know is typically you have a new tab called the, called the Arduino Secrets. But when you're at home and you're not necessarily saving stuff in a public area, uh, you're welcome just to leave it as the example where I've commented out the include and I've put the two things right there. Now, because I am showing this as a demonstration, it's always best if your demonstrations work, I'm going to bracket out those and make a secrets tab. Um, and I will, well, let's just quickly have a little look at the program. Uh, it runs to start with the Y, it includes Wi-Fi and the Arduino H. I'm not sure if that's needed, but it's nice for other programs like Platform IO to have those. Uh, I've already talked about that. And what is this doing? It sets up a Wi-Fi server called server 80. It's on port 8080. Um, it sets up a serial so that you have some information. It could be 115, 200. That's the portenta speed, but 9600 is traditional. Uh, it's got the LED built in. And then it's going to attempt a connection. Um, and it's going to begin a connection. And then it's going to print the Wi-Fi status. So then on the main loop, it's going to say if a client's available, do a bunch of stuff, which is basically printing. Let me see if I can find it. Um, well, this is the command. It's going to print high if you type a H and it's low if you send a low. But the actual command that does the H in the low is right here. This is using some JavaScript. Input, type is button, value is LED off. And on click, it's going to set a new location to send a high. And this is a weird thing with Portenta. High means off and low because you're grounding a 3.3 volt connected LED on board. Uh, low means on. So those are the key ones there. And then it's just printing out your uh, basic Wi-Fi and... Moving on, what's this stuff doing? That's printing out the Wi-Fi status. So there's a, a program, it's not really doing much. It's making a web page, And I'm gonna pause this while I set up my Arduino secrets. I'm just gonna use my Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone. Okay, so I've set up my web page on my phone's hotspot. I have the secrets with my phone's SSID and password. And let's try running this. And I think I'll pause the program just cause these typically are a little bit long to run. Okay, it looks like it's just starting to uh, try to send it. There, it's sending it. Look down here, we're going to the M7 core. Notice that's gone blue. And let's just check my port. My port is on COM13, and I'm gonna to go to the serial now. Now, it is on blue there. And it has failed. So I'm going to stop this, see what's up. Actually, I'm not going to stop it. Let's read that. Let's write, um, let's do what it says. So sketch example, go down to, this is quite a quick program to run, but unfortunately we're going to have to run, uh, where'd it go? There, there, Wi-Fi updater. And let's run it. Um, I don't think there's anything really I have to do here. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind putting it in DFU mode. 
because I did recently run it and I wasn't in DFU mode. And I'm just a little concerned why it said that port wasn't found. Let's just see. Ah, uh, it's con 15. There we go. So it looks like it's still compiling. There we go. That was good timing. And I've got to load up the serials, so it's a good idea to hoist this up a little bit so I can see it's on COM15 with the DFU because I pushed the button three to, uh, twice. Um, it's installing. Now it's switched to COM13, so I can just go straight to serial monitor, see what it's doing, then load my program again. Hopefully it doesn't take a long time to load the second time, but it might. So let's just see. This one, uh, it does take a while. There we go. It looks like it's installing something. Red typically means either something bad's happening or something good's happening. It's, it's too bad they don't have multiple colors and red can always be bad and green always good. But it looks like it's installing something. Notice this file has a tab for the certificates. Um, Hmm. Uh, I don't remember the red happening before, so I'm going to hold on for a little while. Since that's pulsing the same and not like a quick, I may have, this might not be good. So I'm gonna pause. So let's try this again. I just unplugged the core and, or the board and um, plugged it back in. Notice we're back on COM 15 and we switched to COM 13, which is good. Serial monitor, which is good. It's now formatting, which is good. And this does take a while. It's just kind of a blank screen for a bit. It's kind of, kind of good we had to do this. There we go. That's much better. So red in this case was a bad thing, but wasn't the end of the world. It says firmware. So, so we're, we're good here. We can get out of here. As I said, I really like to put it in DFU mode. Not totally sure if that's needed. My secrets file is there. Uh, better check that I'm on the right port, COM15. And let's upload. Now it'll be interesting to see if this one's faster um, because it has been done like since I've opened up the computer. Um, it's hard to tell if it's gonna be faster. It does look a little faster. There we go. That was that was faster than the first time. But who knows if it's going to work. So there we go. It's updating it. And we've checked. We're on COM13 again, so we can go straight to the serial monitor. And it may not work. Let's give it a try. Typically, I think there's about a 10 second. Yes. Okay, so super important, it is giving us the IP. So I'm going to switch over to um, my web page and try that IP. And all we're getting, and notice the serial port is saying some information. All we're getting is two buttons, which is what we did in the code. We wrote two buttons. And watch what we've got at the moment there. So off and on. Off sends L for low, on, oh, on sends L for low, which, oh, what happened there? That's a little, okay. Oh, I see, there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, actually, I have no idea what's going on. It's almost like there's on. Okay, 
well, we've proved some control. It's just not exactly what I'm expecting. Huh. Not totally successful, but not totally horrible either. <laughs> 